So drainage outlook is very much similar to the question about rail fluidity. When things are fluid in the network, train speeds are up, trains are arriving in uh, organized ways, then drayage is, is very organized. Uh, there isn't a, a capacity crunch for, for drayage. There isn't a huge rise in rates because everything is sort of working in an orderly way. But when things sort of fall apart, Sometimes not the fault of the, the railroad or the trucking companies, winter weather and, tra and trains bunch up and things sort of fall apart. Well, all of a sudden, drayage becomes in high demand because there's a whole bunch of volume arriving at once. Uh, prices go up because of the fact that there's so much demand. So a lot of it has to do with fluidity. What we've seen so far in 2019 is that there was this huge spike in drayage demand in January because of all of the movement into the West Coast pre-tariff uh, movement in December, eventually moved its way in in January, things have calmed down in February. As far as the full year, again, it really has to do with that fluidity. I think that drayage will not be nearly as, as um, volatile as last year, but it has to very much do with whether or not uh, volumes rise at 1.8%, they rise at 2%, 4%, really has to do with the fluidity of the rail network. They're very much hand in hand.